In this video, we're going to be reviewing Gather.Town versus Bramble. Both of these platforms allow you to have virtual spaces, but they're very different. We're going to be looking at what makes them different, pricing, and we're going to go through the walkthrough in a little bit in order for you to make the best decision for your event. Let's start with Gather.Town. Gather is a platform that's been out a little bit longer than Bramble, I believe. You can have an assortment of different levels or locations that you can choose from and you can customize them. Let's look at the pricing and the breakdown of what you get. You can start with uh, you can start with a free plan up to 25 different visitors. You can have basic inter interactive objects like images which are posters, uh, Zoom external calls, videos. Those are unlimited in the free plan and also you can set a password for the space as well. If we look at the town version, which is a dollar per user for, for two hours, you can have up to 500 people. And one of the bonuses to upgrade would be having the email guest list so you could restrict access to the space with a list of emails. That way you can make it a little bit more customized and all of those things. Going from there, if you choose the city program, you can add a calendar invite, you can manage features, chat and uh, screen share. This really comes down to the exact features that you want for your event and what you want to have control over. And that de depends on which plan you would upgrade to. Bramble, on the other hand, it looks from the surface very similar. But what I would say is when I'm looking at Gather, it reminds me more of like a RPG, a Super Nintendo game. Bramble is like that, but if if like the art department of a school got a, a hold of it. it, it's it's a lot more trippy. There are a lot of other nuances that I noticed with Bramble. For example, you can DJ in this world. So you can have a, a, a DJ booth on like the top level of some of your some of your lands or some of your locations. Also, too, the nuances as you're getting close to people are really interesting with Bramble. As you're getting close, you're going to be able to see their screen. You're going to be able to interact with them. As you're walking away from them in the virtual space, the voices get quieter. And also, too, as you're walking around, if you're going up to the lodge or in different places, it's like an experience that you're going to an event. One of the co-founders that launched Bramble, they used to do live events for art and for performances, all of those things. And you can really see this in the design of Bramble. The workflow and how you're interacting in Bramble is very different than Gather. What I would do is write down what kind of experience that you want, and that allows you to pick which platform would be best for you. Now let's get into the onboarding and signing up for these programs, and so you can see the different worlds. For Gather, I'm going to click the Launch Gather button. I'm going to sign in. And I signed in with my Gmail account. Right here, it's taking me to my space. But I can create a new space right here on the left-hand side. It says Create New Space, a new space on the left-hand side at the bottom. Click that button. And now this allows me to pick different lands, or I can start from scratch. I personally like already having the format down because then it allows me to just it's just easier for me I can preview a couple things about it I like it right here so it's going to say okay this is in the free space it accommodates 25 to 50 people outdoor and indoor areas I like this I'm going to name it beta build with me area Next, I'm going to say, are you building this for, I'm going to say, co-working and remote. And I'm going to click create space. Now it's asking me if I want to allow my video to be used. It's right there. My audio, I can decide what audio I'm going to be using. I like the character, but I can edit it right here. I can edit the avatar, my clothes. I'm going to keep my avatar just like that. I'm going to join gather. Right off the bat, here I am. I'm in one of the lands right here. I can be walking around, so I'm in the indoor location. I'm using my um, just my arrow keys to move around the world. 
Okay. On the left hand side, I can look at the settings button. Here I can customize the space, choose user roles, advanced roles, all of those things. It looks like advanced, it's premium dashboard. I can then also build different things. I can build adding different objects, all of those things right here. I can upload an image. I have a calendar, so no upcoming events. I can customize the calendar here. The chat is right here and I can chat to everyone or people that are nearby. You can see that I'm the only one that is live in this area right now and you know online. And then right here I have my mini map and then I can share my screen. And then also here I have my different emojis or different, um, my different emotions that I can be using as well. Let me take down the mini map. Again, this gives you a little bit of air, uh, a little bit of difference right here. I believe this is the private area. If just like in a library, if someone's coming up to to this area as well and they enter, then I've entered a uh, private space, and then we can be talking, so not everyone can hear our conversations. All of those different things. And again, this allows you to have just again have a different experience with all of your people in your community. If you're at an event or something, it just gives them a little bit more. Uh, it just gives it a unique feel than just being on Zoom or something like that. If we look on the left-hand side in the corner, at the top, it says I can choose a couple different things. I can go back home. I have a different things where I can uh, report an issue, uh, use the Gather Desktop app. I'm just going to go back home. And now, again, I'm back here and I can look at all of my recent spaces and go from there. Let's switch over to Bramble now. I'm going to be signing into my account. And here it says create your Bramble. Now we already used Bramble for our BuildCon, our event that was in May. So we already have a world already built. And I'm going to be going in there in a little bit to show you, but you can create a world. And again, if we look at this, this Bramble is newer than Gather. So we're having more limitations in Bramble than, than Gather, right? So I can still choose the world. I can say, you know, build with me world. I can customize the room if I want. I can just say build with me. Security. I can go through here, restrict access to email domain, passwords, all those things. And then if we look at the world layout, we can have a trippy world. We can have a campfire, a winter lodge, or a headquarters. We used headquarters last time. Um, let's switch over to winter lodge. Beta beta test winter lodge. Okay, save, create this world. Okay, so we're about to enter. I'm picking my name. I'm saying yes, I've read all these terms. It's allowing me to know my controls are going to be here. My profile, tap on your avatar to see your profile. Groups, tap on someone else's avatar to see their profile and add them to your group. Okay, let's enter this world. It's going to ask me, should I, can I give access to my video and my microphone, I'm saying yes. Okay, and now I'm entering the world. As you can see, as I'm here, it's 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 totally different. I really view this as more of like, almost like a play or art or something like that. I'm moving around, as you can see, it's a little bit different altogether from an avatar perspective. The other one was like, a almost like, it, it's a character, to me, it reminds me of something like in Pokemon. Here, it's it, I'm just a head right here, but I can uh, also change uh, more things about me right here. I can have different actions. I can see all this stuff. Let's get a little bit closer. I believe right here, too, in this world, there's different sections with speakers. If there's different um, speakers, and definitely inside the lodge, that um, you can actually have music and hear it playing and all those things. That's pretty interesting. If it's not right there where the speakers are, it's definitely inside. So I'm in the lounge. I'm going to go in. Okay, so I'm in here, in the lounge. I can have different sections where I can hang out, do all of those things. I can have a piano right here. I can have a library over here. If I'm right here, like in the light, I'm standing in the spotlight so everyone in the room can see and hear me. So I can get people's attention, stuff like that. If I go over to the stage, 
I can have a whole other section. Okay, and this is, reminds me of just like actually being at a club, right? So you can have people back here sitting, you know, on these uh, on these couches and everything like that. You can go to the stage right here, and now people can present just like they're watching a, a real presentation or something like that. I thought that was really interesting. And depending on the world that you're in, you can do all different sorts of things like that. Again, being in Bramble versus Gather, they're very different. Although they're both virtual spaces, the features, the interactions, they're very, very different. And also, too, the price in between the two are very different as well. Gather, you can start for free. Bramble, you're looking at more of a premium to get started with 25 different guests. You're looking at starting at 99 a month. One more thing to keep in mind with Bramble and the pricing. Remember, it starts at 99 with 25 people. There still is an increase in amount depending on how many guests that you have. And also reach out to the team uh, if it's a custom amount or something's going on that you need answered. It's really important that you reach out with Bramble. They're a brand new company. They're still figuring things out. And that goes for any company. With both of these companies, that's the case. But Bramble is very new. So again, if you have more questions, make sure that you reach out to the team. They're really responsive. And figure out if this is a good fit for you. If you're just trying this out and you're on a tight budget, maybe gather.town is where you need to be. For Bramble, there are very specific interactions and the reasons we wanted to use Bramble. So we were willing to pay the 99 to get started and to try it out. What I'd really focus on is not even just the price. I would look at the features and what you need to make your event a success and what are the outcome of the event. Are you doing this to get clients afterwards? Are you doing this to get more familiar with people? What are the goals? Because although you might say, well, one's free, one's 99. If you just purely go by price, you might be missing the nuances of if you have a really good experience and you're getting clients or you're getting different customers and some of the features are found in Bramble and those nuances now made you you know, have a client for several years or several months or getting the contract, it's worth the investment, right? But if you're looking at just trying to have a virtual uh, space, you're not really sure the outcome, you just want to try something new, perhaps try Gather. But I want you to think about your clear goals and what you need to happen for your business or your conference or event to make it a success. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of questions you have what kind of events you're planning to have in the future. I'll see you in the next video.